Hey folks, it's Necro Black here, and uh, this is the Necro Black vlog. This is volume 18. <laughs> Crazy that I've reached 18 vlogs. But considering on my old account I reached about 52 or 54 vlogs before the account got disabled, uh, it's a relatively small number. This would have probably been number 78 or maybe even 88 <sighs> anyway uh, don't mind me I'm gonna be flipping between Facebook and YouTube because of the fact that I'm actually talking to one of, a couple of my friends on YouTube I mean, not on YouTube on Facey Space <sighs> So, uh, yeah, um, <clears throat> what this vlog is going to be about, this vlog is actually going to be about, uh, conflict and animosity, which is an interesting thing because, uh, I happen to be in the middle of a situation, but I'm not going to speak about it on this vlog. Usually I speak about the situations that I'm in in a uh, more creative and not so detailed way typically but because of the parties involved I am at I'm not at liberty to really speak about it but I am going to speak about conflict and animosity and how ironic that I'm speaking about conflict and animosity with an Angry Birds shirt on and uh, no I'm not just wearing the Angry Birds shirt I also happen to be wearing my Angry Birds uh, pajamas. Hey, look at that. Boom. Boom. <laughs> so, there we go. So, oh, the camera is not off center. There we go. <laughs> And I hope you guys don't mind, but I'm going to be flipping between YouTube and Facey Space because I'm um, chatting with uh, a couple of friends on Facey on Face Space. If, in case you guys are wondering, I actually combined uh, a friend of mine, or me and a group of friends, we combined Facebook and MySpace. And since MySpace isn't really popular, we just call it Facey Space. Um, so, yeah. Anywho, um, that's the subject at hand. without diving too far into, into the situation I'm currently involved in a situation in which there's someone that has animosity towards someone else that I happen to be in a sense connected to I mean I'm connected to the other person that has the animosity but he has anim but that person has animosity towards two other people that I'm connected to and you know, I don't like playing sides. I'm not necessarily one to play sides. But the problem is, I kind of have to play sides because of the connection that I have with one of the people involved. And unfortunately, because of this, I f I'm conflicted internally. But I'm choosing to not get myself involved in a situation that's unnecessary or, you know, that is just ridiculous, you know? I, I don't want to get myself involved in a situation like that. Mostly because of the fact that uh, I really don't want to get into a major conflict, you know? And by saying that I don't want to get into a major conflict, it's because of the fact that, well, it's really stupid. <laughs> you know? It's it's really, really stupid. Really, really, really. Trust me when I say it's really stupid. I, I mean that with every bit of my fiber. That it's really, really fucking stupid. Um, 
I mean, yeah, I curse in my vlogs. So what? Who doesn't? <clears throat> Oof. It's a dry cold out today, so, you know. It's not really cold, but it's a kind of a dry cold. And, eh. Oh, yeah. This flavor of Arizona is freaking amazing. No free plugs. Half iced tea, half mango. It's awesome. Anywho. But, um, it seems like nowadays it's real easy for people to have, to get into these conflicts. And by what I mean by that is, look at the situations that, uh, look at the situation that this state is currently in, that our country, the United States is currently in. We're involved in a conflict in, um, we're involved in, the, in a conflict in the Middle East. And, um, people decided that they wanted to, you know, after, especially after what happened in 9-11, uh, President Bush and most Americans wanted to, uh, go after the bad guys that were responsible for the 9-11 attacks, which is understandable, because attacking a country on their own soil is a declaration of war, and... You know, it's whatever. You've got to do what you have to do. You have to defend yourself. Now, problem is that uh, we went we went to war with one group and started to chase another one, completely um, irrelevant to the whole 9-11 thing, even though they try to say, oh, he was part of the whole thing, he, he funded it, and yada, 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 no, no, it's documented proof, Hussein had nothing to do with it, pretty obvious, but we went after him anyway, whatever, um, yeah. Bleh. <laughs> um. Okay, get back to what I was saying. So we went after one. We caught the we caught one guy that was just a troublemaker, pretty much because that's all he was. And uh, he was a problem for the U.S. He was a problem for a lot of the major countries in the in in, in this in the United Nations. And uh, he got assassinated. They started a new regime over there. They started a, a new democracy over there. And it took a couple of years, but they finally got all the soldiers out and everything. Or at least most of the soldiers out of there. And uh, we kept on with this other war. And not until, like, last year, they finally catch the guy that was responsible for the, th for the whole situation. <coughs> <coughs> that everybody was just like, oh cool. Now, the funny thing is, at the moment we got the guy that was that was apparently responsible for the 9-11 attacks, they decided, well, we're going to continue with trying to go after this axis of evil. So on to North Korea and on to Cuba, which, honestly, there's really no point in going after Cuba because they're pretty much our neighbors. Granted, a lot of people don't agree with, you know, the way the government is, you know, it's a, it's a totalitarian state, totalitarian country, but, uh, you mean, you have people that are escaping from there, that are leaving the country because they don't like it, but you have people that are happy living there, so it's just like, I guess we just leave them be, I, I, before everybody jumps on my case, I have a personal belief. I understand. You know, bigger nations are supposed to watch out for the smaller nations. The richer countries are supposed to watch out for the poorer countries. But the thing is, we have problems here. In this country. We have problems in our own country. We have problems on our own soil. 
we have poor, we have homelessness, we have uh, problems with gangs, we have poverty, we have uh, financial problems, we have uh, unemployment, we have we have families starving in one of the richest nations in the world, which ironically enough we're one of the richest nations in the world but we're kind of in like debt to everyone don't know how that happened thank you Clinton thank you Bush and uh, yeah instead of trying to solve the problems we have here in this country we decided we're gonna go overseas and try to solve problems for everybody else Instead of solving the countries right here at home. You know, there's a problem with that, folks. You know, how can you help someone? And this is something that I've, I've explained to friends, and I've explained to family, and I've had explained to me when I was younger. How do you expect to help anybody when you can't even help yourself? I mean... We're here trying to solve the world's hunger issues. We're here trying to solve, you know, wars, settle wars in other countries. But we can't even handle the wars we have in our streets. We can't even handle the families that are homeless or living below poverty here in our own, in our own soil. But we're going to go overseas, send billions of dollars, which... We probably don't even have, but we're going to send billions of dollars to some country, some third world nation, and help them out before we help ourselves. Well, if we're sending, I have a question, you know, if, if, if we're, you know, and I, I'm all for helping you know, I'm all for helping people in third world countries, and I'm all for, you know, helping your fellow man and everything. I'm all for it. I mean, hell, I had a sponsor kid for a while, you know. Um, I had a sponsor kid from, that was in the Philippines for a while. But, you know, if we're giving and 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 giving, giving all this money to all these other nations that that clearly need it. They, they do need it. I'm not saying that they don't. They do need it. But if we're giving all of this money to all these nations, what happens to the people here at home that are suffering? You know, a lot of the big businesses that were that were that started out here in this country outsourced to other countries. And if they didn't outsource, they invested in computers that could that took jobs away. How are we helping our own situation? Where is where is the solution to our own problems? How can we help solve other people's problems when we're too busy building our own and not working towards solving them. It's an internal conflict within our own country. And that is why, partially, why we have animosity amongst the classes here in this country. I mean, you've got rich folks that make millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars every year, or at least hundreds of thousands, and yet they pay less, less than what the average guy like me has to pay in taxes I mean they're they're making millions of dollars and I'm making what less than a less than double digits in the grand in the, in the, in the thousands but I gotta pay more taxes than the guy that's making seven eight 
nine figures a year. I gotta pay more than him. Where's the fairness in that? Where's where's the logic in that actually? If you think about it. Where 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 is where's the actual logic in that? That makes no sense. And that's the major conflict. That's why we have this whole ninety nine percent versus one percent protests all these protests that are going out that's going on around the around the, the country and in certain parts of the, in other parts of the globe. Because the countries that do, that can, won't do for their own, but they'll do for someone else. Now, how this conflict has anything to do with the conflict that I mentioned earlier and animosity is simple. You have angry parties, angry, angry parties, who have this animosity towards a concept, towards an idea, towards another group of people, and they are acting out with their own form of they're acting out, creating a form of conflict, be it physical or peaceful. You know, if you have a simple solution to a problem, then do then utilize the simple solution. These countries, or our country, for a matter of fact, the United States, we have unemployment issues jobs were supposed to be created and they didn't get created oh, oh no correction they were created but if you didn't go to school for the for the jobs that were created you can't get a piece of the pie you can't get that job you're not qualified yes there were hundreds of thousands of jobs created. But you know what kind of degrees you have to have in order to get those jobs? They say, oh, well, you can get this job, but you have to have this. You have to have this, a master's in this, a PhD in that. You have to have a doctorate in this. You have to have a master's in that. But you can get this job. So what happens to the guy that, get, that has the associate's degree or the bachelor's degree? What happens to him? or her. where do they fit into the mold of these hundreds of thousands of jobs that were created another conflict more animosity now folks there's a simple method to solving <coughs> to getting past and you know getting past having animosity there's a simple solution to getting past conflict. That simple solution is handle your own. And by handle your own, I mean handle your own business. Handle your own finances. Yes, we all have to pay taxes, but Stay mindful of your own spending. Stay mindful of your own purchases. Stay mindful of your bills. Stay mindful of what you have to do as a person. And I'm speaking about the financial conflict, of course. But with physical conflict, like war, like a fight, like, you know, a disagreement between parties. Stay true to yourself, but always, always, this is, this is very important, always get the facts, and always listen to both sides of the story before you make your own decision. 
Because if you go on and you decide that you want to go and attack one party after hearing just one side of the issue, then that means that you're not a neutral party. That means that you yourself are as bad as either side. There's always a right and a wrong, a yin and a yang. And if we don't try to get all the facts together, listen to get all the pieces of the puzzle together and lay them out on a table in front of us and see all the little pieces of the story. How can we really make an, a true, honest, and clear decision on the situation? Honestly, you can't. You can't. You know, animosity... Animosity is a, is a motherfucker because, to be honest with you, it makes you do stupid things. It makes you say stupid things. Like, for example, today... Um, today, or was it yesterday? Actually, it was yesterday. Rush Limbaugh... <laughs> Rush Limbaugh, who's never, who who always seems to put his foot in his mouth, um, he had to take back words that he said to uh, to a Georgetown student, to uh, Sandra Fluke, when he called her a slut, and when he said that, you know, if she wants to have a right, you know, as far as like, you know, birth control and, you know, all that other stuff that uh, she should show when she has sex and all this other stuff, you know, his personal beef, his personal beliefs, he went off and said some off-the-wall stuff that honestly made him put his foot in his mouth. And now look at him. He has to, he has to apologize in order to save his job or save his reputation. Honestly, his reputation has been trash since forever, but, you know, what can you say? Uh, it was probably as insincere as possible when he said the apology, too, truth be told. But, um, to be honest with you, you know... And to be honest with you, personal view, like I said, when you don't have all the pieces of the puzzle, personal view is also something that can add on to animosity and can actually make you as bad as one party or the other. You know? That's why you always get both sides of the story. That's why you're supposed to be a listener. You're supposed to be someone who pays attention to detail, as I am. I'm someone who pays attention to detail. Yes, sometimes I... I don't pay attention to the detail. Yes, sometimes I don't catch all the parts of the story. I'm human. I can make that mistake. Just like everybody else out here. You know, everybody else that's watching a lot of this stuff. But it goes back to what I said. Always listen to both sides of the story. What hits, what doesn't hit. Get all the pieces of the puzzle before you can actually get the grand scale, the grand picture of what's really going on, what's really being said, what's really being done. Before you can make a clear and conscious decision on whether you know this person's right, this person is wrong, or, or this, this group of people is right and, and this group of people is wrong. It's all... It's all fairly simple, but a lot of people nowadays, they don't seem to do it, and it's unfortunate. But, you know, what can I say? Tis not a cheap plug. 
Tis not. Ah. Anywho. Uh. <coughs> people. In closing. Because this is one of those long ass vlogs. <laughs> in closing. I'd like to say this. To each and every one of you that watches. That actually stood. Sat here the whole 20 some, some odd minutes. Listening to me talk. Folks, it's easy to make a mistake. It's even easier to uh, choose sides when you don't have all the details. People can lie, people can say things, make you believe what they want you to believe. But you always have to look at the picture. The whole picture. Remember what I said? It's like a puzzle. You take all the pieces, you put them in front of you, you turn them around, and you look at the pieces and see what fits and what doesn't fit to get the grand picture. And even when looking at the picture, you gotta look not at the center, but at the scenery around it to get the actual story. So, people. What I'm saying is, pay attention, keep your eye on the prize, and don't put your foot in your mouth, don't be a Rush Limbaugh, alright? <laughs> Anywho, I thank you for watching my vlogs, for watching this vlog and all of my other vlogs and my matches and my other silly random ass videos. Um, to all 100 and how many do I have? 164 subscribers, I think I, I have, yes. 164. 164 subscribers, if my page would load up. To all 164 subscribers that I saw from earlier this afternoon, I would like to personally, personally, thank each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel and choosing me as a form of enter as one of your forms of entertainment. Um, I enjoyed doing this. I honestly and wholeheartedly enjoy you know the time it takes to get everything together to put this to put the vlogs together and to work on the graphics and you know when I do actually have graphics and all that other stuff and editing and I enjoy it because I know that you guys honestly enjoy watching it and I promise you that I will continue to entertain you however I can, inform you, inspire you, and please feel free to, to, to hit me up on Facebook, I have two face uh, on two Facebook um, pages, uh, facebook.com slash GLC Black is my main one, but I have a backup one, and I haven't made the name for that one yet, so, but um, you can actually find my other page for that, it's uh, Gregory L. Black on Facebook, um, and uh, that's pretty much it, folks. Um, Till next time, I'm the F66 slash Sinful Dreams Entertainment Party Animal, the Beastly One, and uh, VF's favorite luchador. And I'm out. Peace, y'all.